what's up you guys I have decided to bring you guys along with me as I clean the downstairs portion of my house I will be tackling the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room area. It's really not all that bad, but it is bad enough for me right now to do something about it. It's just stuff thrown everywhere like Zabin swords. I got stuff all over the floor. There's stuff on my kitchen island that has just been a catch-all place right now. And it's just stuff that needs to be put back into its original spot. There's stuff like over here on my dining room table, you guys, that I don't even know why it's there. Like, why do I have a feather duster right here on my dining room table? Like, somebody please help me. Also, there's pillows thrown everywhere from where Zayvon and Drake was playing. So, yeah, we're about to tackle this mess. So, if you want to see how I'm going to do this, then stay tuned. So I am going to start off right here. I always like to start off when I am downstairs cleaning, cleaning my kitchen first. It's just the area that I gravitate to first. And I feel like once I've got this area actually straightened or cleaned up to the max, then I feel like I've accomplished a good portion of my downstairs. So um, that's what I'm starting off doing. Look at this cabinet, y'all. Like, seriously, tell me why. Why is this cabinet so cluttered? I <laughs> I have a video not too long back and I'll try to put it in the I cards above where I redid my kitchen cabinets and I redid my pantry. I don't understand for the life of me why my cabinets always end up being a cluttered mess but in my house that's what happens. So you'll see me here trying to straighten these bowls and stuff up and make it at least a little bit more presentable and more neater than what it is. because yeah it was just falling apart um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna take the unnecessary bowls that are not even supposed to be in this particular cabinet and put them away where they need to be which is over in my china cabinet in the drawer section so yeah I do have specific products that I use for my kitchen and I love this Lysol spray you guys it smells just like lemons and it just makes your house smell fresh and um, it kind of puts me in the mind of like if you were doing Fabuloso or something it's just it just smells fresh so right here I'm just moving my little cutting board that I have or, um, or my drainer that I have that I put my dishes on top of and just getting all of the crud and crap from behind that and just cleaning my countertops really good I don't have like nice granite countertops or anything so that's the reason why I honestly use like the Lysol and stuff I don't go to the method cleaner and you know all of that type stuff although the method is really really nice I do like it they have nice smelling ones but um, I have been a staple of Lysol for a minute so I'm just keeping it simple here you guys like if it ain't broke don't fix it right Chasing blues away. Hey, hey. You always 
posting the pictures Trying to look like you winning or Look like you always be working Soaking the moments you live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus 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 Baby, don't check for me I want you guys to comment below. Comment below if you have a kitchen island or a table in your kitchen that is like a catch-all place because that's exactly why I guess we built this island. It is generally a catch-all place for everything that we bring into the house no matter what like it catches everything and I'm like this is not the way it's supposed to be like why is it doing this so I know I can't be the only one you guys let me know comment down below if your kitchen island or there's a table or something in your kitchen that just catches everything that is not supposed to be there and you find yourself cleaning it off like every single night I know I'm not the only one No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out Bye. 
So I'm getting ready to tackle my dining room table and as you guys can see it is really not all that bad but I do like to try because of the type of wood that it is well it's because of being dark wood it does seem to show a lot of dust at times so I do like to tackle this and do it at least once a week where I will go in and do like a very good clean of my table and then just kind of polish over the top of it with some um, orange glow sometimes I don't even spray that I just use the cloth that I'm using and wipe over it because it's still pretty you know strong or whatnot but I love the way that this smells as well. It's almost like that Lysol uh, scent, except it's like oranges. So it just makes your house smell fresh. And I will do this at least once a week. Sometimes I wanna give all of me. Sometimes I wanna scream, oh my God, you got me in so much trouble now. In case you guys were wondering where I got my place settings from, everything that you see on the table minus the goblets came from Dollar Tree. When I saw these uh, plates, I just couldn't pass them up. I just thought they were very pretty, so I grabbed them. I also made this floor arrangement as well to place on the table, and that came from Dollar Tree as too. This room really needed some tender love and care. This is one of the rooms that we spend most of our time in, minus the kitchen. Um, and Drake will run through here like a, a mad dog and jump all over everything. So I have to make sure that I keep this console wiped down pretty good because of his dander and just collecting dust. I also have to make sure that I keep my couch wiped down and my pillows dusted off because he'll come over here and jump up on the couch. So I'm gonna give this room some extra loving. Sometimes I wanna give all of me Sometimes I wanna scream Oh my God, you got me in so much trouble now Now Sometimes I just wanna tell you to stop So you don't go and break my heart I'm so confused, babe, I just don't know So now I got it By the way, you guys, fun fact This rug is not even two months old I just bought this rug and it looks like I've had this rug for about a year Drake has destroyed this rug with his nails and then once it became started to unravel he would chew at it so yeah this rug is probably about to go and chill out in a corner or in a closet somewhere because I'm so over it right now Another fun fact as well is that I've had this vacuum cleaner that you see me working with right now, which is, I believe, a Bissell, if I'm not mistaken. And I've had it for over two years and it's still going pretty strong. I'm, I'm, I think I am going to have to replace it here shortly just because of the extra work that it's having to put in. But i can't complain about it it's really done its job it may not even be a bissel you guys i might be lying to you it might be a knockoff but yeah anyway it gets the job done for me and i think it is about time to kind of replace it <sighs> to something a little bit more durable <laughs> Sometimes 
So right here you'll see me messing around with this felt board and I really like this felt board you guys. It is really nice. I got it from Five and Below. I've been wanting one for a while and I um, was going to purchase one from Hobby Lobby but when I found this at Five and Below I was like you know what I've been wanting one I want to try it out. The only thing that's kind of aggravating is, is I need to find a letter a sorter to um, put my letters in so I can easily go to them and you know just pull them out instead of me having to search for them but um, other than the quality of this little board it is it's pretty good I you know like it for decoration in my in my house it's, it's pretty neat Alright you guys, here is the final view of my cleaning. I have cleaned the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room area. It doesn't take much for me to clean, especially if my boys jump in and kind of help pick up after themselves. Um, it's not a lot for me to clean, but I just thought that this would be like a different video for you guys just to show you how I do go and spruce up or clean my home because it is never perfect but um it doesn't take much it really doesn't it doesn't take much um if you did enjoy this type of video please let me know down below that this is something that you like and that you would like to see these types of videos on my channel um the insight will be very helpful um also, let me know if you liked it just by giving it a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new, I hope that you decide to stick around for a while and hit that subscribe button and join the Pollard gang. Um, and yeah, until next time, my loves, I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>